Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have got something incredibly exciting lined up for all of you diving into the world of databases and SQL interviews. I have attended my fair share of data science interviews and I know how daunting SQL interviews can be. You know, the pressure, the uncertainty, the endless sea of questions that you have to face. But fear not, we are about to change the game. I'm thrilled to announce a brand new series from this video that's going to transform the way you prepare for SQL interviews. Just picture this. So 50 power packed questions that will become your secret weapon in acing those interviews, right? So there are 50 questions in this and the platform is going to be lead code, right? This series is not about, you know, just learning the solution to this 50 questions that usually people do with, you know, things like lead code 75, etc. No, 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 we are not going to do that. And you might think like, why only 50 questions, right? Because in this series, when we are following this, you know, SQL 50, we will try to cover every nook and cranny of SQL intricacies from the fundamental queries, right? So these are the fundamental queries, then basic joins, right? Aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, advanced string function, regex, clauses, etc. Right? So we are going to do all of that. There will be in-depth explanations, tips, tricks, and we are not just solving questions. We are trying to decode, you know, and try to crack all the SQL interviews in just these 50 questions. So whether you are a beginner getting your feet wet or a seasonal coder brushing up your skills, this series is going to be a golden ticket to your SQL interview mastery. So yeah, if you are ready to crack all your future SQL interviews, Let's dive into our first question of the series, right? So the first one is recyclable and low fat products. So if you look at it, right? So this is our question and let's see what all companies this question has been asked for. So a number of questions, a number of times very recently, right? So it's a great question. Let's start with like what the question says. So we are given a table called products with three different columns, product ID, low fats and recyclable. These are their data types. Product ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Low fats is an enum category of type Y and N. So basically Y means yes, this product is low fat and N means no, it is not. Recyclable is another column which is of enum category. Again, it can take Y and N, so yes or no values. Y means yes, this product is recyclable and N means no, it's not. We are asked to write a solution to find the IDs of the products that are both low fat and recyclable. Order of the result does not matter, right? So it's a very simple question which will actually tell you how to you know filter based on certain conditions right so two or more conditions how you can combine those both of these conditions and filter your databases or tables using that so in this you know example products we have different inputs and different product ids whether they are low fats and whether they are recyclable or not right so just by looking at it let's see okay so product id one has low fat as well as is recyclable also product id 3 low fat and recyclable so in our output we should have product id 1 and 3 right so let's start doing this so you know the first thing to you know write a sql query always start from from right so from clause from this table called products right we need to filter based on two conditions so how do we do that firstly there are two ways to filter where and having there is a difference between where and having whenever you want to filter based on aggregate functions you need to use having when you are not using aggregate functions to filter you need to use the where clause so here we are not using any kind of aggregates right so we are doing where we need to filter Firstly, you need to satisfy one of the conditions is it should be low fat. So low fats is equal to Y. You also need to make sure that it is recyclable. So you also need to make sure that and your recyclable also has the same value Y. Right. So now here what we have from this product table, we are filtering based on whether the product is low fat as well as recyclable. Once you have them, then in the output, you need the IDs of the products. So which column has that product ID, right? So we just simply write return, right? So return that product ID, 
right return that product id let's you know put a semicolon at the end of the query okay so i think this looks good this is going to return whatever is required we don't need to order this result in any manner right so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here right now so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to so if it passes all the test cases okay so this is accepted and this is how we do it so very simple question we are starting with the sql 50 series trying to crack sql with 50 questions and learn as much as we can so very simple question all we had to do was be, do a filtering of two conditions combined so we try to do that let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video